Exploring Fakenham, Past and Present. A journey from Hempton Road to Fakenham Marketplace. We begin our journey today in Hempton Road, outside the entrance to Jusen's Builders Merchants. In 1880, this was the site of the newly opened Lynn and Fakenham Railway that served Fakenham for eight decades, linking Norfolk towns and villages to the Midlands and beyond. On 28 February 1959, this line became the first casualty of railway closures throughout Norfolk. Demolished in 1967, the site was redeveloped to become a vegetable processing factory, and then, the builder's merchant we see today. Only a small section of platform and fencing remain today, together with a commemorative information board. As we follow the path by the River Wensum toward the town, we pass the Fakenham Museum of Gas and Local History. Dating from 1846, this is the only surviving town gasworks in England and Wales, complete with all equipment used for the manufacture of gas from coal. British Gas closed the works in 1965 following the discovery of natural gas in the North Sea. Opposite the gasworks is Fakenham Mill, which was built around 1720, on the site of an earlier mill. Milling ceased here in the late 1950s, after which the building lay dormant until the 1980s. Its transformation into residential apartments by a local builder, deservedly attracted award-winning acclaim. Across the bridge on the right, is Massey Court and Bridges Walk, which forms part of the 1980s housing development, built on the site of the former Massey and Bridges garage. Jack Massey and Jim Bridges became friends as serving soldiers during the First World War. Both were fortunate to return home unharmed and shortly after founded a working partnership which lasted until their retirement in the 1960s. Before venturing into Bridge Street, we should take a look at Mill Lane, originally known as Mill Street, then Stone Street, and Tun Lane. This approach to the town became too narrow by the mid-1800s to accommodate evolving wheeled traffic, and so became the quiet pedestrian route to town we know today. The houses and shops seen on the right in this Victorian postcard were early victims of clearance in the early 20th century, leaving the land dormant for many decades. In 1986 a new Baptist church was built here in Mill Lane, however this building too, has since passed into history, giving way to a new residential development called Swan Court, completed in late 2020. Standing proudly in front of us as we emerge from Mill Lane onto Swan Street is Cromwell Cottage, said to be the oldest surviving building in Fakenham. Its name derives from the belief that Cromwell's troops were housed here during the English Civil War. On the other side of the road, stands Grove House, an Elizabethan manor, once the home of local miller, Thomas Goggs. In 1914, Gogs Hall, as it was then known, was fitted out as an 18-bed hospital. Originally intended for the reception and nursing of wounded troops, it was subsequently taken over by the Royal Army Medical Corps, and used for the care of invalided soldiers from local regiments. Local practitioner, Dr. Fisher, was hospital commandant, together with Lady Superintendent, Mrs. Palin, grandmother of TV personality Michael Palin. Later Grove House was lived in by three doctors in succession, Doctors Norman, Arthur and Preece. 
As we make our way down Swan Street toward Bridge Street, we pass the rear entrance to Bridge Street Car Park. This used to be a much narrower entrance leading to dwellings situated in St. James Square, marked by this gatepost. This picture, taken in about 1912, shows the house which was sacrificed to allow opening up of this area. Walter Seaman, a house painter by trade, lived here with his wife Elizabeth when this photo was taken. We believe this is Elizabeth and daughter Ethel in the doorway. Continuing, we now arrive at Bridge Street opposite the Bull Public House. After the bridge over the Wensum was built in the mid-1830s, Bridge Street, or Ball Street as it was previously known, became the new major route into the town from the south. Here is a 1950s view of the Bull before part of it was taken down to allow large vehicles to gain easier access to Cattle Market Street. The east side of Bridge Street has seen relatively little major change compared to the west side. Here are the shops and dwellings which stood opposite the Bull until the mid-1960s. These were demolished together with the Tin Shack Coffee Bar to allow road widening and the existing car park to be extended. A new fish and chip shop and coffee bar had been built behind the condemned dwellings prior to demolition. In the early 1990s, shops returned to this area of Bridge Street. The old flipside coffee bar was renovated and incorporated as part of the new development. Opposite the former Lancaster Temperance Hotel, stood this old barn. In 1919, this is where Jack Massey and Jim Bridges first set up their car hire and motor repair business. Without question, the biggest retail expansion ever to take place in the town centre, was the building of the Miller's Walk complex. Just two street-facing shops, in Bridge Street East Side, were lost to this development. First to go, making way for the main entrance, was number 21, the former Fakenham Hardware, home decorating store. The second was number 17, the tiny little shop which stood at the entrance to Wakefield's yard. This worm's eye view, shows the entrance to the newly opened arcade about 1992. Our pictorial journey into town from Hempton concludes as we reach the marketplace, turning to enjoy further glimpses of Fakenham's past. Our parting photo shows the lavishly decorated drapery store of Henry Bowles, in 1907. We believe Henry's efforts were in support of the Norfolk Agricultural Association show, which was held in June of this year at Highfield. Thank you for watching.